Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do an unboxing of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre board game by Scott Rogers, who also did the Alien board game. It's for one to four players, 60 minutes, ages 14 and up, and this is the Trick or Treat Studios Texas Chainsaw Massacre board game. And I'll read the back here. Mm -hmm. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Your van has run out of gas on a dusty Texas highway. That nearby house might have a gas generator. Perhaps they can help. Or perhaps you've made a grave mistake. Push your luck and work together as you try to avoid Leatherface and Slaughter family. The longer you take, the more deadly it will become. Will you escape with your lives or end up on a meat hook? Oh, God, I think my stomach hurt. Yeah, Julie's not a fan of horror games, but I no. am. And my friends at Trick or Treat Studios know that this is not my favorite so kind of thing. See, you can see the sides here. Uh different characters okay must be from the first movie I don't know the first movie that well mm. okay let's take a look at the rule book first hey nice and thin I think you should just play this by yourself and no. get a lot more fun no I think I'll be better, more fun <laughs> playing with you <clears throat> that's what no. a married couple does right but what if the other half of the married couple isn't into scary stuff? Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh. Gameplay in detail. <laughs> move, draw, action, clean up, move phase. you got to worry about doors and windows, slaughter family encounters. Leatherface, grandpa, cook, hitchhiker. you got collecting tokens. <sighs> draw phase, slaughter tokens, grandpa. Okay, so how you do a draw phase depends on the, the sl slaughter family. Action token, bone token, eye token, photo token. I think that's what he's looking through a hole in the wall. Mm. A leather face. Maybe not, or maybe I that's no a hitch, uh, a victim. Trucker moves. So is there a time limit in this game? Uh, leather face attacks, meat hook. Action phase, move, search, push, pick up. Clean up phase. Required to win. Let's take a look at that a little closer here. Okay. One key token and a number of gas tokens determined by the number of players. So you got to find the keys. Mm -hmm. You need one gas for two, two for three, three for four. It's not required for all characters to be safely back at the van, only that the characters who are back at the van have the required items. Wow, you can leave each other behind. Any characters who are left behind in this way may draw a death card and, that's a mistake there, read it aloud to see <laughs> what their fate was. The game did not end pass the token tray to the player on the left. Okay, we're going to their turn. Mm. <clears throat> okay, uh, game end. Losing the game, winning the game. Solo mode. Solo mode. Slaughter mode. Oh, Slaughter mode. God. Very experienced players. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> <gasps> you may choose to make the game more difficult by using this mode. Whenever you draw a leather face token, you must pull at least one additional token from the hid hideous draw bag before you may choose to stop drawing tokens for the turn. So you're just drawing additional tokens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, uh -oh. the pieces are nice and thick. This is nice cardboard here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, punch out. out the... That's okay. That means it's good die cutting. You want it to fall out oh, easily. Oh, you do? Okay. okay. So when the tooling is dull, uh -huh. that you can get it to rip when you... So oh, that, that's gosh. good. Okay. You want it to fall out easily. Ah. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at some of these characters here. And these are all in the first movie? I assume so. I assume I, so. Again, I haven't seen it. I'm surprised that you haven't seen it. I don't know why either. So here's a reference card, a scavenge token effect. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of characters. Yeah. Kirk. Tiberius. No, it's not Captain Kirk. Oh. <laughs> Pam. Oh, Pam from The Office, Oh, honey. Pam from The Office. Is Jim going to be there? I'd put Jim in there and kill him first. No. Big Ed. Franklin. Jerry. I like how they're wearing this. Sheriff. I know I love it. Sally. It looks like they all get three um, things. Right, so they look the special move when Kirk does a push action against the Slaughter family member and they move two spaces. Franklin draws two search cards, choose one, put one back, and then when Pam reveals a token, she may look at it and swap it with another token on the board without looking at it. No token goes in the bag. Hmm. 
Jerry. When Jerry draws a Slaughter Family token, he may return it to the back. Return it back to the bag and draw again, only once per turn. Okay. When Sally push does a push, she also does, does a push, a push action, action on a player. They've moved two spaces, so she can push other players out of the way. Oh, okay. Maybe that's part of the movie. She saves somebody. Spend one action to move the trucker standy one the space. Truck standy. Truck standy. <laughs> Sheriff. I'm having trouble reading it. If Sheriff draws an eye token, he may reveal a token on the board and immediately use its ability to return the eye token to the bag. Hmm. So all of this looks the same. Yeah. Except they have different abilities. That's cool. That is cool. If you get more variety when you're playing. Right. So here is the scavenger tokens. Okay. Interesting. She certain you want the certain tokens that are good and certain tokens that are bad. Yeah. So when you draw a leather face, he moves. Mm -hmm. You can receive blood splatter when he enters a space. If you reveal a gas or key token, okay. Spend one move action to pass through a door or window. To ignore this cost and break through, you may flip the token to the broken side and take one blood splatter because you're jumping through an actual... Oh, sure, that makes sense. ...closed window. That's pretty yeah, cool. that is cool. If you pass through a broken token, you take a blood splatter, too. Other face automatically huh. flips it. So windows you can get through, but you're going to take damage because of the glass. Right. So here are the standees. There's the window and doors. Window and door. Mm -hmm. Trick-or-treat thing. Oh, that's cute. There's blood splatter here. Oh, and then there are the people. I don't yes. Know. These are bones. So these are the tokens that go on the bag. I see. So here's Grandpa. He looks really he looks really sexy. Probably kind of, not. Would you like to have a, a painting of, of him in our house? Oh, God, no. Yeah, right oh. when you walk into the house, he could be there. Okay. No. So now we're going to... I just wanted to show that because the art was, was nice. Do you think it's a screen grab thing, honey? Or no, no, these are drawn. Draw? These are drawn. Okay. You couldn't do a good screen grab no? like this. Mm. No. And there's run tokens. Yeah. So these tokens are going to go on the bag that we're going to take a look at here. Oh, yeah, this is creepy. Oh. Yeah, it feels very leathery. I really don't want to put my hand in there. So, yeah, this is, can't, this is a nice... Uh, Nylon? What do they call that? Uh, they make tents out it's of. It's like nylon. Yeah, no, this is nice. This is not. It's a double stitch bag. Here, feel it. Yeah, <laughs> Julie's creeped out by it. Because you know, you know why? Because when we did a video at Trick or Treats in at for what was it Gamma? I think it was. No, it would have been Gen Con. Gen Con, they had the bag, but it wasn't already made yet, like fully made. And they're like, just put your hand in there, Julie. Just give it a try. <laughs> and David scared the holy crap out of me with it. And yeah, I didn't scare you. It wasn't me. It would have been Joe. That uh, did. Okay, Joe did. Okay. One, somebody did. And I'm just like, yeah. So here is a barbecue. Scavenge tokens other than gas and keys tokens from the board are placed here until the turn ends to generate no effect. These do not count as tokens drawn from the bag. Huh. Okay, we can open that. Sure. So we have standy, typical plastic. Uh, here we have... The Slaughter Family board. Interesting. One move, one move, three move, two move, three move. Place Grandpa in the dining room. Place Cook in the diner. Place the hitchhiker in the van. So here's the board. Nice and bright. Nice thick car. This is a, real, a well done board here. This is not cheaply made. Yeah, nice production on this. Go trick or treat. So diner, abandoned cars, the killing room, mm -hmm. metal door, yes. dining room, hall, stairs, bone room, grandpa. No, grandma. That's grandma. Yes. In the second movie, she's bones. Uh, I don't know if she's alive in the first movie. Dry lake. There's a generator. Interesting brambles. Then move on a bramble space and take one blood spat splatter. Ooh. You have a cemetery here. Yeah, graveyard, graveyard. generator, 
There's a van. Yeah, honey, we could sit on the swing and, and no, hang out. No, no, okay. I want nothing to do with this place. So here's where the van. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six where the semi moves. I see. Return here to escape. You need the key and gas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. No. So now we have search okay. cards, objectives. You are dead. Oh, jeepers. Let me uh, zoom in here. <laughs> uh, I know our friends at Trick or Treat are going to get a big cat kick out of watching me play this game. Yes. Okay. Let's look at the search token, uh, cards first. Okay. Bandage. So it's text. So you got multiple bandages. Careful. Careful. Chainsaw. Curious. Desperation. Din diner, dinner time. Diner time. Diner time. False alarm, flashlight, flashlight, help. Why would you ask for help? Mm. Where do they go? Check on the meat. Noisy, punctured gas can, sprint. So this isn't as disturbing as it could be. Uh, the artwork. Yeah, I, I will happy about that. So there you go. Let's take a look at what Bandage does, just to, for so people can see. When adjacent to another player, discard this card to remove one blood splatter from that player. Oh, so that's a cooperative nice. part. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Careful. This discard this card to take no blood splatter from a from moving through a broken window. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know how often you get these cards and how often you spend them. Chainsaw Ballet. Move leather faces threat stat up by one. Return this card to the search deck. Oh, so it can get worse. Okay, so there's some examples there. Go ahead and take yeah, these. Yeah, we don't need to read them all. Thank you. You are dead. You have been turned to a bone chair. Oh, jeez. To a into barbecue. It's a sausage. Leatherface cut off your face. Oh my Cook God. turned you into an award-winning chili. Your bones have been turned into a wind chime. Okay, now we have objectives. If you shock easy, stay away. Warning. All right. Who wants barbecue? Get to the diner with the other characters. Go to Grandma's room in, Sla in the Slaughter's family house. Get to Dry Lake with one other character. Win the, win the game with all three of the Slaughter family on the game board. Finish the game with one or less blood splatter on your character. Get to the abandoned cars with one other character. Get to the graveyard with one other character. Collect the tokens from the stairs in the Slaughter family house. Draw one of each of the following tokens one on one turn. Leatherface, bones, eyes, photo. Interesting. So that is, and then you can see on the side here, I show the other games they produce. You can check out our video on Blood Orders. I did like that game. Yes, I do like Blood Orders as well. I did like but Blood Orders. But we did orders. do a variant on it to make it uh, uh, more fair. Mm -hmm. So that's Texas Chaser Massacre. Look for our future how to play and playthrough video and review. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. We hope you enjoyed this and didn't get scared. Thank and uh, we will see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.